This is Michelle and I. This is the astrological update for Aries for the whole of February. And you should find yourself moving through some of the heavy and intense energy that you've been going through recently. On top of that, for you, it's February, it's Valentine's. It's all about love and working out some deep love stuff. We kick off the month on the first with the four planet stellium in the position for you. All about spirituality, illusion and kind of awakening in some way. But you need to be a little bit cautious because it can also lead to debauchery and losing yourself in the idea of love or the idea of escapism. You just want to escape what's going on. It's also a time when you're going through a wounded healing and just, I think for you this month, you're gonna step into your power. You've come through a lot and it's onwards and upwards. Now, apart from that, there, there's a sense in your being that things are shifting and changing. Mars, your ruler, is in your position of relationships and you're very passionate about relationships. There may be some heated arguments. There could be some wild passion and romantic antics, but you, you, you're kind of shedding something. You're letting go of something. You're opening up to your passion. And not only that, your passion for life and your passion for yourself. The other interesting things going on this month are on the 6th, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going retrograde, is going backwards, and it's making you look at some of the commitments you made in the past, some decisions you made, some of the details in the past. Were you detailed enough? If not, these things are coming back to haunt you and for you to sort out. But it also allows you to go back into the past and look at times when your life was perhaps a little bit more healthy and you're able to recreate and take that knowledge of the past forward. A cradle on the six also is making you think about your home environment and where you're meant to be spiritually in the world. And a grand air trine for a change on the ninth is giving you the ability to really communicate and manifest your desires. So make sure on the ninth you're thinking big, you're casting out your dreams, but you add to that the caveat that bring me my dreams or something even better. As the universe can sometimes deliver us something deeply unexpected. We have Mercury on the 13th entering your position of manifestation and a full moon on the 14th makes you feel very open, very free and, and just in need of some laughter and good times. The sun is entering your position of spirituality and illusion later on in the month. So it's great time to meditate and to ask the universe to bring you a message or a sign for the next phase of your development and the evolution of your soul. A grand water trine on the 20th, I'm quite fond of them, even though they're quite emotional and intense. They're very healing. You get to shed a load of emotional baggage. And this emotional baggage for you is connected to your home and your sense of powerlessness and your sense of emotional need for other people. So I would reckon on the 20th, it's gonna be a very powerful time for you. And on the 28th, Mercury finally goes direct and allows you to communicate clearly what it is that you want. There could be a lot of connecting with people from the past this month as well. Anyway, I'll send you much love. You're a warrior of love and I'll speak to you soon.